The danger of these abandoned buildings hit home last month when this one on Burns did just that. It burned, damaging the house next door. The owner of the neighboring house pointed out the dilapidated shack that went up in flames had been condemned for years. We had a paper in front to be demolished or uh, condemned, but mm, they never did anything. This house is still on the city's latest list of eight condemned homes released by the planning department. Also on the list, this two-story structure at 109 South Kansas. Felipe Camacho lives next door. Very, very dangerous because you see this next to my house. And uh, maybe near hurricane can, can turn fall down to my house. And uh, I, I need to... Uh, uh, I needed to tore down this house. You know, one of the most interesting and dangerous aspects of these abandoned buildings is they are completely unsecured. We just walked right back here, and you know, I remember when I was a kid, I used to love to play around in some of these old buildings, and could you imagine someone at night walking up here, taking a look around, trying to get into this building, and then look what they would find. They could fall straight to their death. Neighbors say this house in the 600 block of Lano Grande has been abandoned for about 10 years. It's condemned, and so is this graffiti magnet in the 2700 block of Oklahoma. Santiago Presas lives around the corner, and he says it's about time this one came down. Yeah, well, usually the kids hang in there, and they, they do several things. Who knows what they do in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but... Uh, there's been uh, times when they try to burn it down. So it's it's a pretty bad place to, for the kids to hang in there. West Laco Health official Joe Pedraza says the city now has about $20,000 to spend on tearing down old houses this fiscal year. He says it costs a few thousand dollars to do each job. Neighbors say it's a wise investment, one that should be made before it's too late.